You would never guess this much fun could come from a classroom project. But that's how Patricia Murphy, the robotics teacher at Healdsburg Junior High School, and her eighth grade students got here. Along with three other Sonoma County, California high schools, they had the privilege of assembling a modern three-wheel street legal vehicle called the Switch. The school project was underwritten by Sonoma Clean Power as part of their ambitious plan to replace 10,000 gas-guzzling cars with electric vehicles. What better way to affect that change than by energizing the engineers and builders of the future? With the help of the Career Technical Education Foundation of Sonoma County and the Switch Lab in Sebastopol, SCP was able to take their vision to the classroom and to the street. Sonoma Clean Power started out pretty focused on building renewable energy. And when we expanded thinking uh, to really include how can we use clean electricity to cut emissions and cut costs, it really expanded how we thought about stuff. So instead of just building renewable energy, we started to look at switching from natural gas to clean electricity, switching from driving on gasoline to clean electricity. Sonoma Clean Power sees a real opportunity in switching from driving on fossil fuels to driving on clean electricity. And so within five years, we'd like to see at least 10,000 more electric vehicles on our roads. And the people who are gonna design those cars, who are gonna build the programs, they're gonna be coming out of schools, they're gonna be coming out of our high schools, our junior college. Peter Oliver and Jim Green out in Sebastopol approached us because of the good fit of driving on clean electricity and, and our agency's mission. And so we started working with Kathy Goodacre and the career technical education folks to think about which high schools, and we even found a junior high, uh, that would be a really good fit for the program. My partner Jim McGreen and I wanted to create a vehicle for the general population to be able to, to drive 100 miles and have it be a low cost vehicle rather than what was available in the general market at the time. At that same time, I had been teaching at the Santa Rosa JC so I put the two together. I took the curriculum that I had from the JC and applied it to the switch. And we have something that can be done in as short as eight weeks and as long as 16 weeks. And it's a full curriculum. When the CTE Foundation uh, heard about this opportunity, we became really excited about it because this is just the type of learning experience we want to bring to our students. We have to take our students out from behind their individual desk in the classroom so that they're now working in teams and they're collaborating. Uh, critical thinking, this kind of program really brings critical thinking skills to the forefront. And then there's just the whole idea of how do we um, solve problems when it's not written in front of us. We had to have funding to make this happen. Uh, there's not a lot of discretionary money within the school systems uh, to, to fund a project like this. And Sonoma Clean Power came through, and again, because of our, our mission and our goals around um, the message and the education we wanted to bring, uh, they were able to provide the funding support that we needed to get four kits into the classroom um, launched and completed. The board of directors of Sonoma Clean Power are proud to partner with Switch Vehicles, the CTE Foundation, and the Sonoma County Office of Education. This is a wonderful partnership between Sonoma Clean Power and our educational organizations to ensure that our young people have the tools and the resources to be our leaders when it comes to electric vehicle deployment. In 2015, uh, Sonoma Clean Power provided uh, an initial financial investment of $150,000 for the Switch Vehicle Program. We strongly believe that our investment is not only going to produce the engineers of the future, but quite possibly the new inventors, the new makers, to ensure that this electric vehicle revolution continues in the long term. The project begins with the teachers going to the class themselves at the Switch Lab. There, they spend a week learning how to assemble the Switch Vehicle Kit so they can then teach the process to their students. However, once the kit is delivered to their campus, the students were pretty much on their own to complete the project, troubleshoot problems, and work together as a team. Our students are learning how to build something really complex, a street legal car from simple parts. And the cool part about that is that lesson can be transferred to almost anything. So, you know, historically, all the investment in schools has really gone to the college track. 
but when you think about technical education, it has equal value no matter where you're going. We're teaching them how to work together, how to do project management, how to do uh, materials management, and how to schedule their time and uh, work together as a team. And, and those are really fundamental things that may not be on the forefront of education um, these days, but they're learning it through this program. I loved seeing how this, these two groups of kids were speaking in different languages to each other, totally understood. And they were working out problems of mounting the motor and, and solving where to drill the, the mounting holes for the seating. And, and that was really fun collaboration that you don't normally see in a classroom. There was a lot of troubleshooting, um, failures, and learning from those failures, which again is the just the type of learning that we want all of our students to have uh, within the programs. The students being able to take this finished product out into the community through community praise and events. Um, so, so the message and, and the awareness and excitement really went beyond that one classroom and those 20 or, or 30 students building an electric vehicle mm -hmm. as an eighth grader. It was just, just the whole thing it was awesome. You know, this project is great. It gets the kids out of the classroom. Uh, it gets them, it, it's really some great team building skills. Um, I'll have a couple kids working on the front end while I have three more on the back and a third one rifling through the directions, reading the directions. So it gives everybody a real chance a uh, real opportunity to learn and show their skills or learn new skills by their peers teaching them, no, that's not the, not the right wrench, you need to use this. Uh, it's great team building, uh, great out of the classroom, just learning experience for all of us involved. I thought we were just going to be playing with Lego Mindstorms the whole year, which didn't sound all that much fun to me, but once I heard we got the grant to build an electric vehicle, I was pretty pumped up for it. I think where they, they learned more was the fact that it's a frame and they can see how the components interact with things and see how changes that they make change the way the vehicle behaves. It's much more um, adjustable than a regular car would be. I've only been teaching for seven years, but of all of my years of teaching and subbing, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I think that the more schools we can get in, the better, and it's just the most powerful project I've been a part of. I even was talking with Diego in the vehicle, and he wants to go to Cal now so he can become an engineer and build more vehicles and be better than Elon Musk. Like, they, they have big goals now because they can see what they can do. There's a lot of talk around uh, how we need to ensure more of our students are college and career ready as they graduate high school. That involves way more than just what they learn in their academics um, or their, the, the book learning that, and the classroom learning that they have. My students really enjoyed the program. They really enjoyed the opportunity to work on this. Because of the technology we use every day, students need more opportunities to learn how they can put their skills to use in the world they will live in. The success of the SWITCH program is just one example of how to reimagine a high school classroom and how to add relevance using today's technology. And as we've seen, it can also begin before high school. Visit SonomaCleanPower.org for more about how SCP is partnering locally on effective environmental business and education solutions. Sonoma Clean Power. Local. Renewable. Ours.